As a drone operator, why should I comply with the FAA rules and regulations? That is without a doubt the most frequently asked question that we get when we do our on-site advanced ground school courses. That is absolutely, I can bet, I'll bet $1,000 the next time that I have that course, that's gonna be a question that's asked. So let's go and drill down because it is so frequently asked and talk about the most important reasons and they are very good reasons. So as we all know, there's no drone police out there, right? There's no FAA drones that are up in the sky that are just waiting and watching for people to violate FAA drone rules and regulations. We all know that. And even drone operators that violate the most serious of drone rules out there, such as flying over a large group of people at events go unnoticed, the FAA doesn't notice them. They do not have the amount of resources to be able to police all this. And that is why I get this question always asked because everybody notices that. But I got some really good reasons why we should be compliant with all rules and regulations. It more so than anything else is going to protect us as the remote pilot and our client that if we, someone is paying us to fly for them is going to protect them. Why do I say that? One word, insurance. So let's use a case, let's use the worst case scenario out there where you may be flying for a client and for whatever reason, your drone causes damage to property and it's several thousands of dollars of property or even maybe even injures somebody where they might have to go to the hospital. And that person now has maybe five or $10,000 of medical bills. And now all of a sudden you may be faced with a civil suit of 15, 20, hundred thousand dollars, for example. Well, what are you going to do? Well, as a commercial operator, I would hope that most of us have liability insurance to protect us and our clients. The number one thing, the very first thing that an insurance company is going to say is, sir or madam, please submit your drone to us so that we can go ahead and conduct an investigation. And then they're going to go through all the flight logs to see how compliant we as drone operators are. And if they find anything wrong or something that we're not complying with the FAA rules and regulations, there's going to be a huge deny stamp on that application process. Thus, you as a remote pilot or your client could be facing, you know, large sum, large sum of money and that's not good for anybody. So that is why, and the number one reason why I tell people to always comply is so that it's protecting us and our livelihoods. And if we're flying for a client, they're, you know, it's covering them as well. So, you know, I get this question asked a lot. I hope that makes sense now. Again, you know, when I talk about rules and regulations, it's really always from a standpoint of making sure that the remote pilot themselves is covered and that's going to cover everybody around that it can affect. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Help us grow. We'll give you more content more frequently.